making believe. Not yet, Sigma! I am still crunching the numbers! Watch out! Fight like a man! Hell, there's one way into the core the wall can't lock off. The maintenance access shaft. Sorry to send you down through the pit. It's all we've got. What is driving you into the core, Sigma? What compels you to defy the Thinker's equation? Is it your deep love for Porter and for Tenenbaum? Ah! You hardly know them, Sigma! You have never even met them!
Ryan's secret police came for Potter long ago. And now he has reappeared in Minerva's den? A man sent to Persephone does not just open his cell door and walk home. Machine. You did not listen. When the pangs of familiarity sting you, my friend, you will have only yourself to blame. Well, Thinker, Ryan's secret police are on their way. They cooked up some kind of evidence against me. Treason, they say. I've heard what happens to folks who get disappeared and come back as one of those metal daddies. So, I'm leaving you with something to cogitate on in my absence. Inputting Rapture Departure Protocol. Figure a way to get yourself out of this city, Thinker. You've got to live on, no matter what happens to me. You'll find a way. The irony of my predictive equation is that it sometimes requires blind faith. I see the individual elements crashing against each other, and the urgency of what I must do to maintain my part in the plan is clear. But I cannot always see just why. An Alpha series is headed to Minerva's den, subject Sigma, and the equation states that if he reaches the computer core, catastrophe! I do not know why. You're in the Thinker's core. The code printer is upstairs in the control booth. Top level access only. You'll need to confirm your genetic identity to start the printing process. It is Dr. Tannenbaum. With the computer disabled, Minerva's den is falling to pieces. No pressure regulation, no air supply. You must defeat Vol and bring the Thinker back to full power.
knife at your back. Do not disappoint me. Take the Administrator Punch card from Val's body and reactivate the Thinker. I let the machine speak for you, Mr. Porter. We needed a voice that would be familiar, comforting, your own. With that copy of the Thinker's programming, we may return to the surface and use it to restore you to the man you once were. Please, collect the printout and meet me at your bathysphere dock. Take your time, Mr. Porter. I will be waiting.
I'm done feeding audio recordings and personal anecdotes to the thinker. I am set to test the personality duplication function. Target personality, Pearl Porter. Thinker, are you ready? Yes, Milton. <clears throat> Starting test. Hello, Pearl. Hello, Milton. How... <clears throat> How have you been? Just wonderful, Milton. I've missed you, though. It's been so long. Pearl, I... No. No, this isn't right. It isn't her. Thinker, stop the test. But what's the matter, Milton? Oh, God. Don't you still love me? Oh, God, I... Oh, God, I said... I said, end function, Thinker. Now! It's over. The Thinker never gave up on you, Mr. Porter. It could not leave you behind. Please, step up to the console and begin the Bathysphere launch sequence. We have much work ahead of us. I lived through the Blitz, Pearl, and the fall of Rapture. They took my memory, my voice, everything that made me a man, but nothing ever scared me so much as saying goodbye. I wanted to save you. I couldn't resist trying to bring you back the only way I knew how. But you didn't want that. I know it now, and I think I'm finally ready to let you go your way. I stand here with the sun on my face, and it's almost like I can feel you smiling. Goodbye, Pearl. I love you more than I've got words for. Milton. <laughs>